Since the early days, Hollywood is known for a certain kind of nepotism. Now, it's not unusual for people to get jobs in Hollywood simply because they know Timmy or your aunt is the whatever. But fathers and sons can also help each other, even propel each other up into the Oscar category. In this next segment, we're going to take a look at one father and son duo, both of whom ended up as Oscar winners, and here's their unique story. The handprints and footprints of two of Hollywood's famous actors, Kirk Douglas and Michael Douglas, the ultimate father and son duo. What you didn't know is that one of them got the other one an Oscar. Did you know One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest was a Broadway play before it became a hit movie in 1975? Uh, excuse me, miss. Do you think it might be possible to turn that music down so maybe a couple of the boys can talk? Your hand is staining my window. See, back in 1963, the Broadway production actually starred Kirk Douglas playing McMurphy, what would later become the more famous film role played by Jack Nicholson. Beside Kirk on stage was original Willy Wonka star Gene Wilder, who played Billy Bibbit. And during the Broadway run, Kirk Douglas himself, a recent Oscar-winning superstar with huge power and acclaim, bought the 10-year rights to make the film version of Cuckoo's Nest, but couldn't find a single studio willing to gamble on such a prickly story, especially with him in it. <laughs> How about it, you creep, you lunatic? He tried and tried to pitch it, but despite his uber power status in Hollywood, no one would sign off on the idea. I'm Spartacus! I'm Spartacus! Part of it might have been some political backlash from his huge success with Spartacus, in which he tricked the studios, under a false name, into letting him use a blackballed writer for the Oscar-winning project. Eventually defeated, though, Kirk Douglas tossed the rights to the movie over to his young son, Michael Douglas, who then succeeded in doing what his all-powerful father could not. Michael not only got the film produced, but wouldn't even cast his own father in the role of McMurphy, the same role Kirk had played 82 performances of on Broadway. Son Michael agreed that his father Kirk was too old for the role, the role that Jack Nicholson would then make famous. Oh, come on, you're not gonna say that now. You're not gonna say that now. You're gonna pull that hen house shit now. When the book that she just voted, it was 10 to nine. I want that television set turned on right now. To add insult to injury, Michael Douglas's Kirk Douglas Free Cuckoo's Nest then became the second film in all of motion picture history to win all five major Academy Awards. The winners are Lawrence Halbin and Bo Golden for One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. The winner is Milos Forman. I want to say thank you for teaching me to have a dream. You are seeing my dream come true. Well, uh, I guess this proves there are as many nuts in the Academy as anywhere else. The winner is one flew over the football. Cuckoo's Nest remains number 33 on the vaunted American Film Institute's 100 Years 100 Movies list. One of the most secretly contentious set of footprints ever to appear in the forecourt of the TCL Chinese Theater is that of father and son, Michael Douglas and Kirk Douglas.